Welcome to the Hamden Town Council meeting for October 17, 2016. At this time, would you please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item on the agenda tonight is the consent agenda. Does anybody <coughs> have any questions on the consent agenda? I move acceptance of the consent agenda. Second. Any public comments? Discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. The next item is uh, public comments. At this time, anybody in the public that would like to speak on anything that is not on the agenda tonight, this is their opportunity to do so. Do we have any public comments? Please, yeah, if you'd come right up to the mic and uh, hit the button so the green light's on, please. State your name and address. Right, right on this, yeah, on the microphone itself. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, that uh, we got it on the agenda here for unfinished business on item four. Um, but if you'd like to speak now, but it's not, you're getting confused. Uh, again, this is not strictly soccer fields. This is recreational fields, takes in all various types of fields, but go ahead. It, um, I, I don't need to contact you individually. I can say personally, Jennifer Naross, a citizen of Hamden, um, and a, a property owner here in Hamden, that I understand that our tax bill, my tax bill, 80, I can't remember if it was 85%, but it says right on the bill what percentage of my tax bill goes to support the school district, um, school funding. and. I find that an extremely high percentage and I wanted to use this opportunity to say that if these um, soccer fields, uh, and I understand you just said there are other recreational um, fields spoken of, but as far as more, more um, of my taxes going to support the school system, publicly saying to all of you, no thank you. That's all I, I needed to say. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> if I might, Mayor Ryder, just it's, uh, it's 55%. Oh. So which, so not 85. It's about 6.3 million for the year. Okay. Next item is uh, item D under policy agenda, news presentations and awards. Uh, announcement of receipt of grant funding from Northern Maine Rural Collaborative Partnership and Community Health Grant for new trail signage at Dorothea Dix Park and Turtlehead Marina Park. This was a grant that uh, came available through the city of Bangor, made it available to us to put up new signage at the uh, Dorothy Dix Park and at the Marina Park. So it's going to be uh, in your package. You can see it's going to make quite a difference in the trail system for people when they're walking. And uh, I'd like to just take a moment to, to really uh, thank the city of Bangor and particularly both uh, Jamie Comstock, their health promotion manager, as well as city manager Kathy Conlow. Um, this uh, opportunity came up on fairly short notice back in August. A decision had to be made uh, actually the funding had to be expended by the end of September so there was a total of six weeks between when we learned about it and when we kind of had it fully 
scoped and contracted and you know so that's that's why it didn't come to this council it's a fairly at a thousand dollars fairly small amount of money in the scheme of things but i think you'll agree we got enormous value for those dollars and uh so i'd, I'd also like to uh just recognize the the work of um, rec director abbott sean courier kyle severance and karen collin all had a hand in uh, getting the designs to where you see them thank you any other discussion on that? The next item is the announcement of receipt of grant funding from the <coughs> Eastern Maine Development Corporation for broadband fe feasibility pilot project. We'll discuss that again later in the evening, but that was a grant that come available. I think we were the only one that were awarded in Penobscot County for that grant. And Kyle Severance paid a key part in getting that grant awarded to us. The next item is uh, nominations, appointments, and elections. Update on the status of the absentee ballot process. Uh, town Clerk, Paula Scott. I just wanted to let the council know that we are in full swing on our absentee balloting. We started receiving applications in August. And once the ballots became available on October 7th, we immediately started sending them out. As of today's date, we have uh, done 253 changes to the voters list. We currently have 5,579 voters on the voters list, and we have issued 619 absentee ballots, with 181 having been returned. That's 11% of our voters list at this point. So I just wanted to let you know, and I also wanted to publicly thank former clerk Denise Hod Hodston, because if it were not for her, I would be totally buried um, and I really appreciate the fact that she's been willing to come back and fill in and help out in this election cycle. It's been very, very much appreciated. Thank you. The next item is unfinished business. It's an update on the status of the initiative to pursue site survey engineering and DEP permitting for potential additional parking and athletic fields at the Laurel Hoyt pool site. Uh, Town Manager Angus Jennings. Sure. Uh, given the uh, council's vote at the last meeting and the level of public interest in this initiative, I wanted to uh, just put some facts out there on the record uh, so that people uh, know what to expect going forward. Uh, following the vote of the town council at its October 3rd meeting, my office plans to undertake or oversee the following next steps. Uh, first is to prepare a work scope and solicit bids for topographic survey of the Laura Hoyt pool site. And the second is based on review of applicable regulations of Maine DEP, Army Corps of Engineers, and others as applicable, prepare work scope and solicit bids for engineering support as needed for the preparation of uh, documents needed for permitting. Both of these steps would be needed, will be needed in order to get permitted to add any impervious surface, um, such as parking, to the site. Upon completion of the uh, vendor uh, review processes, I anticipate bringing forward recommendation of specific vendors along with requests for council allocation of reserve funding consistent with the purposes authorized in the approved budget. Due to the time it will take to complete this work as well as competing demands on staff time, I expect that completing these bid processes may take two months or more. Uh, once an engineering firm is retained and DEP permitting is underway, DEP has advised that that process could take six months or more. No site work will take place until specifically authorized and funded and until my office signs a contract for work. We will continue to provide periodic updates on this initiative, uh, both uh, in this council forum and in the upcoming town manager newsletter. Uh, we will share information regarding what is under consideration and how Hamden residents can share their opinions, ideas, and concerns. Uh, this statement is intended to clarify for residents that no changes to the site are imminent and that any future changes, if any, would follow deliberation and votes within public meetings. Thank you. Any public comment? <coughs> Discussion? Moving on to new business. Uh, item A, council review and approval of the proposed FY17 service charges recommended by Kelly Carter, the tax assessor. Those were brought forward uh, earlier in finance. I would make a motion that we approve the uh, uh, FY17 service charges as, uh, as a, uh, proposed by the tax assessor. Second. Any public comment? Discussion? 
Councilor Marble? I would just note uh, for public clarification, um, this has to do with uh, nonprofit agencies owning and operating programs and buildings in Hamden uh, that are exempt from property tax and are assessed um, a service charge like a payment in lieu of taxes uh, on a standard formula to help cover the cost of services like um, fire and safety. And we're working to be consistent in this um, and transparent in it. Thank you. Any other discussion? Motion and second. All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. The next item is a consideration of proposed <coughs> council order 2016-03 establishing confined space entry policy recommended by the Public Works Director Courier. Uh, the uh, Chairman of Infrastructure would like to explain that. <laughs> Councillor Marble. The Chairman of Infrastructure will try to explain. There are strict safety guidelines um, that have to be put in place regarding uh, personnel, especially town personnel, entering what's defined as a confined space, which for my own edification is anything like going into a manhole. And in essence, this policy will clearly state that um, no town employee shall enter a confined space until or unless fully trained. In essence, we're not going to have uh, untrained people put at risk. Thank you. And I would simply note that this uh, policy has been past practice uh, for, for as long as anyone can remember, but the idea is to get a written policy so that it's, uh, there's no doubt. Thank you. So I would move adoption of uh, Council Order 2016-03, establishing a confined space entry policy. Second. Any public comment? Further discussion? <coughs> All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. Next item is the consideration of the proposed Business Park TIF Professional Fee Reimbursement Agreement. Referral from the Planning and Development Committee. Town Manager Jennings will explain. All right. uh, in 2014, the Town Council entered into a development agreement with Sargent Corporation, uh, which has led to the construction of roadways and uh, water and sewer infrastructure at the uh, Hamden Business and Commerce Park. And, uh, <coughs> Uh, part of that agreement was to bring forward a, a TIF agreement that would apply to most, not all, but most of the properties within that business park. Uh, so what you have before you is a uh, professional fee reimbursement agreement to allow us to carry forward that work, as was agreed a couple of years ago, uh, using the services of Rudman Winchell and their subconsultant, Noreen Norton, who specializes in TIF work. Uh, the funding for this work, um, in accordance with that 2014 agreement, would be f provided entirely by Sargent Corporation, uh, so there would be no uh, dollar expense uh, to the town. Thank you. Do I have a motion? I make a motion that we consider the proposed Business Park TIF Professional Fee Reimbursement Agreement with a, uh, Sargent Corporation. Paid for by Sergeant Corporation. Second. Any public comments? Discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. <coughs> Item 5D has been uh, removed from the agenda tonight and in its place we have a request from the uh, fire department to add $5,000 from the fire truck refurbishment reserve account for a compressed air foam system on the fire truck engine 271. I move approval of uh, funds up to $5,000 from the fire truck reserve fund for the refurbishment of the compressed air system on a truck. Second. Oh, okay. Uh, Town Manager Jennings is inform me that maybe we need a motion to put it on the agenda first uh, and then we'll okay. vote on it. So can I have a motion to add this in place of 5D that was erased? Please. I move we add the subject of the fire truck compressed air system refurbishment to tonight's agenda. Second. 
discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Thank you. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Any public comments? Discussion? All in favor? Are we, which, which one are we doing now? We're voting on the five thousand dollars to come out of the fire truck refurbishment reserve account. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a question. Um, are we sure it's going to be five thousand or under? I'd hate to come back for for a hundred dollars. Uh, well, as you can see from uh, uh, the public safety report, the estimate that was provided by the vendor, he confidently estimated that the refurbishment would cost no more than five thousand dollars, but. It, specific dollar amount is difficult to specify prior to disassembly and inspection so um, I, I think we have a high degree of confidence that it will not exceed five thousand okay what's up moving on to item e consideration of proposed allocations of up to fifteen thousand in the emeritif funds to support an economic Market study referral from P and D. The chair of P and D, Councillor McPike. It says referred from finance. Well, okay. Well, I got finance, and then it went from. It was uh, P and D. It was actually said finance, but we changed it. To P it was came out of P and D, correct? P and D referred it to finance, so so what is before the council was referred both by P and D and finance. So um, this basically goes to the again the consideration of allocation of fifteen thousand dollars from the Meritif to support an ec economic development market study uh, for the town of Hamden. Uh, we had conversations with both the town of Bangor and the town of Brewer concerning this. Bangor has backed down uh, from. Uh, or they're not they don't have a desire right now to move forward or something like that brewer just completed one so we are moving forward um to, it'll be all encompassing of hamden only thank you council marble we just add for public benefit this is something we've talked about on and off for a period of time and what we're really trying to do is secure data and guidance as far as how we work with the public um, to help shape the future of Hamden and economic development. So we're looking at it as an investment in the town. Thank you. Councilor McPike? I would make the motion that we uh, uh, allocate up to $15,000 in the Ameritif Fund to support the economic uh, market study. Second. Public comments? Discussion? I would simply note, uh, for the record, as the council is aware, the the current balance in the Ameritif funds is uh, just just under eighty five thousand um, dollars, and if you net out the five thousand that was approved for the broadband, uh, there's still nearly eighty thousand dollars in that account. All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. Next item, item F, is consideration of proposed amendments to the driveway entrance culvert policy, referral from Infrastructure Committee. Councilor Marble. Over the past meeting or two, um, the council working as committee determined that some of the infrastructure in town is old, including where driveways meet roads. And some of us, including myself, were not crystal clear on the ordinance or policy. Um, so we were moving ahead with good intentions, but not clearly guided by language uh, that was clear and consistent. So I would move um, acceptance of proposed amendments to the driveway entrance culvert policy as coming from the infrastructure committee and proposed by the director of public works. Second. Public comments? Discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. Item G, request for a referral to public hearing a proposed amendment to the outdoor facilities ordinance to prohibit vaping. Referral from the services committee. Councilor McAvoy. Thank you. I make a motion to refer to public hearing a proposed amendment to the outdoor uh, facilities ordinance to, to prohibit vaping by changing Article 4, Section 4.1 to add 5.12, smoking, which includes vaping in its meaning. Second. All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. 
So that will be on the council agenda for November 14th for public. The next item is a request for authorization to use up to $5,000 in funding from the Emeritif for the purpose of providing matching funds for the broadband grant. That was uh, what we discussed the award earlier from the Eastern Maine Development Corporation. Uh, their funds were like a $10,000 value and then we could match up to 5000 towards that. Uh, is there anything you'd like to add to that? I would uh, simply uh, note that the uh, broadband, a broadband feasibility study is one of the specific items that was uh, authorized in the Emeritif as an eligible use. Uh, this has been an issue that's gotten a lot of discussion of uh, understanding what service, what level of service Hamden residents and businesses currently enjoy, what are the opportunities for expansion, and I think this uh, uh, work will provide a lot of value. There will be some uh, high-level tec technical consultants who will be made available to the town. Uh, Hamden was the only community in Penobscot County that received this grant. Thank you. Councilor Marble? Just like to take the opportunity to cite the good work of town staff on this, including Kyle Severance. Thank you. Do I have a motion? <clears throat> I'd move that we uh, allocate uh, uh, use of uh, up to five thousand dollars of emeritus funds uh, for the purpose of providing matching funds for the broadband grant second public comment discussion all those in favor all those opposed thank you the next item is an application for renewal liquor license for the best western waste house in do i have a motion Make a motion that we accept the uh, renewal of the liquor license for Best Western White House Inn. Second. Public comments? Discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Thank you. Item J is an application for a renewal liquor license for Pizza Gourmet. I make a motion that we accept the renewal license, a liquor license for Pizza Gourmet. Second. Public comments, discussion, all those in favor, all those opposed, thank you. The next item on the agenda tonight is uh, committee reports. Uh, we'll start with finance, Councilor Sorois. Um, everything that was discussed in finance was discussed during the council meeting and so I won't uh, bore everyone with the detail, uh, but again, everything was, was covered accordingly. Thank you. Planning and development. Councilor McPike. Our last planning and development uh, committee was canceled. So we will be meeting uh, Wednesday night and we will have a meeting. Thank you. Infrastructure, Councilor Marble. At our last meeting, we covered a lot of ground. Some of this are things that we're not ignoring, but we're going to put off uh, for practical reasons, like how much we can accomplish, and others are moving ahead. So, briefly summarized, we revisited consideration of installing LED streetlights uh, with a business plan offered by a vendor named PEMCO, uh, but due to a lot of factors, that's still up in the air, so we'll just keep an eye on it. Uh, regarding town center holiday lights, there have been problems with hardware on some of the poles. We're going to proceed with a bid process to address that work and, if possible, install the actual uh, holiday fixtures at the same time. Uh, we discussed recommended sewer ordinance amendments regarding testing procedures that was uh, endorsed by the committee. Um, as you heard a few minutes ago, we brought up proposed amendments to the driveway, driveway culvert policy. Um, we discussed an update on the MRC fiber right engineering review of the road and sewer, uh, especially regarding construction inspection. Um, fiberite sewer rate setting. Um, we had earlier been looking at higher rates due to high volume expected with, I believe, a water cooling system. And MRC Fiberite has changed that plan to go to, I think, an electric one. So based on lower than expected water usage, uh, we'll be reducing that rate. Um, and the sewer ordinance pending abatement request and discussion of policy for abatement requests, the town manager is looking for some policy language to back up his good common sense. 
Under new business, um, potential TIF funding for construction inspections to supplement the escrow account to be funded by the developer. Update on the Western Ave sidewalk, Sydney Boulevard culvert um, project. And um, I had brought up timing and process for consideration of transfer station possible changes in operations. And that is one of the major things we decided to put off um, until such time as we had adequate town staff to conduct a thorough public process. So that will be rescheduled. Thank you. Uh, Services Committee, Councilor McAvoy. Thank you. Uh, at the last meeting, we discussed uh, the future policy regarding facilities maintenance cost sharing with uh, recreation affiliated programs. Manager Jennings will be uh, developing a pro policy and will be presenting it to the committee at a later date. We also discussed uh, reconstituting the uh, tree board and possibly the conservation committee, uh, commission, sorry. If there is anyone out there who may be interested in serving on either one of these boards or these um, panels, please call the town office for more information. And we discussed this just a few minutes ago, we discussed and recommended <coughs> to the council to uh, add vaping as a prohibited activity at town outdoor facilities. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda tonight is item F, the town manager's report. Town manager Jennings. I have a handful of items to uh, report on. Uh, based on information as of late today, the tax collector has collected uh, over $5.6 million in real and personal property taxes for FY17. Uh, this amount represents 51% of the total committed taxes for the year. That's a very high percentage and is a credit to the hard work of our tax collector and administration staff but especially to the very many Hamden residents and businesses who paid their initial tax bill on time and in full. Um, the second item, I wanted to let people know there's a new uh, resource on the town website, a tax calculator. If you go to the uh, website, hamdenmain.gov, click on uh, the budget uh, link on the left of the page, there's then a link to a tax calculator. You can input the real estate taxes that you were uh, billed for the current year and it will uh, feed back exactly how those uh, expenses are allocated among the different line items in the town budget. Uh, so hopefully this uh, will help in making transparent where your tax dollars go. Uh, third item, the tax anticipation note uh, was very helpful to get us through uh, cash flow crunch, which was expected and did in fact incur in uh, August and September. We did draw on the TAN uh, once tax day passed we paid back the full amount that we had borrowed along with interest and we do anticipate drawing on the TAN again uh, in February or March prior to the uh, second tax bills due in April. Uh, fourth item, uh, we are stepping up enforcement of transfer station stickers. Uh, beginning this past weekend, Public Works has assigned an extra staff person to work at the transfer station during this uh, construction demo debris weekends. Uh, the third person is necessary in order to diligently monitor the stickers. Uh, this weekend, 13 vehicles were turned away because they did not have a sticker, and one vehicle registered in Glenburn was found to have a sticker issued to a Hamden resident. We were following up on this incident. Uh, DPW will uh, monitor whether this extra enforcement results in reduced waste and costs at the transfer station. Uh, next item is to let people know that the fully constituted Environmental Trust Committee uh, will begin meeting. Uh, the committee has had uh, two prior meetings with just two people. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. here at the town office will be the first committee meeting with all three members of the uh, trust committee, which is Carrie Woodbury, Ken White, and Councillor McPike. Uh, they will designate officers, meet with the trust managers from Mangor Savings Bank, and discuss potential eligible projects that the trust may support. Uh, the next item, uh, this is kind of a nice story. We had a uh, resident approach our office, a uh, lifelong resident, um, on a fixed income, just Social Security, and uh, had a failed uh, septic system. Uh, under the statute, once code enforcement becomes aware of a failed septic system within a certain amount of time under the law, they, are, uh, they have to compel the repair of that system. Uh, the resident turned to us with nowhere else to turn. Uh, thanks to the efforts of Cheryl Johnson, our tax collector, we identified a grant program administered by Penquist Cap and assisted the resident in uh, putting them in touch with that resource. 
Last week, this grant was awarded, which will allow the resident to complete the work and remain living in the home. And uh, uh, next item is to let people know that our tax collector, Cheryl Johnson, will retire this December after nearly 17 years serving as the tax collector, general assistance administrator, motor, motor vehicle agent, deputy clerk, and a host of other functions. Um, speaking as the manager and on behalf of other town staff, I would be very sorry to see Cheryl go and wish her every happiness. Uh, to say these are big shoes to fill is an understatement. Uh, the job has been posted to the town what website under town job openings, uh, the Maine Municipal Association, Bangor Daily News, and on social media. The position is enormously important to the town and we are seeking highly qualified candidates. And finally, uh, this is another little anecdote. Uh, uh, it's a lifespan of policy reform uh, prohibiting vape, vaping in Hamden Parks. I uh, just wanted to walk uh, viewers through the timeline. On September 28th, uh, the rec department received a call from a resident raising concern about vaping at the soccer fields during a game. After consulting with myself and Hamden Public Safety to, de to determine that this is not currently prohibited, uh, the rec director, research language, and others uh, communities and proposed specific amendments to the outdoor facilities ordinance. Last week, the services committee reviewed and recommended amendments to prohibit vaping, just as smoking is currently prohibited. And at tonight's council meeting, uh, the council referred this matter to public hearing. Uh, it's anticipated this will be adopted in November and take effect in December. I share this as an example of how one person's initiative can lead to changes in local policy and to demonstrate that the town can move quickly on matters that enjoy broad agreement. Thank you. Next item on the agenda tonight is Councilor Comments. Councilor McAvoy. Yeah, I just want to remind everybody to uh, shop local and buy American. Good night, Hamden. Thank you. Councilor Comier. No comment. Councilor Marble. It's come to my attention that November is ride the bus month and the connector on November 8th uh, for all routes all day because it's voting day will be free. So if anyone out there is curious about the exact routes or uh, hasn't had a chance to go visit someone because of lack of funds for transportation, all bus rides on November 8th will be free. Thank you. Councilor Wild. Uh, no comment. Councilor McPike. Yeah, I'd just like to pass on that uh, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Public Works Director Sean Currier for, uh, for putting together the uh, policies that he did and getting things done in time, particularly this uh, wrapping up a busy season. Um, I know there's a lot of paperwork involved and stuff, and uh, so my hat's off to him in getting it done for us in time. Thank you. Councilor Soroy's? No comment. And I have no comment tonight either. And with that, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Thank you, Hamden. Good night. <laughs>